Hey, good morning, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to That Wan Show. It is a Thursday morning. It is about 70 degrees out here, about 5.30 in the morning out here on the big island. Sun's already out. And uh, you can see we got a little bit of overcast in the sky. Hopefully maybe not too much rain today, but uh, we'll probably get hit a little bit like we always do. But anyways, today I'm here at the shop. I'm gonna be meeting the guys. We're gonna get in the work truck and we're gonna head up north up the Hamakua coast to a little place called La Pahoy Hoy. And uh, we're gonna be uh, doing like a finish up the prep on a house slab. We've been waiting on the termite spray because around here we have to use termite spray and get the house all sprayed out in the dirt so that way no bugs come up underneath the house and everything and infest the house with some bugs and everything. So we're waiting on the spray. I think it's today. And uh, after they get it done, then we'll put down the plastic, put down the mesh, put in all the perimeter rebar, all the interior rebar, finish up the curbs, probably hang all the, uh, the anchor bolts, finish our saddles for our grade elevations, and then call it a day. So then after that, we'll be 100% ready to pour. So anyways, that's what we got going on today. Hopefully it's fun, hopefully it's a good day, and hopefully you guys like this video. So come along with us on some more concrete adventures. Oh damn, look at those footings right there, all filled with water. Yeah, a couple feet of water. Hey, kind of, we're gonna need you to get in here and suck this water out. My body board. Yeah, <laughs> forgot the boogie boards. Man, this job has got a hell of a view though. Look at that thing. That's amazing. Ugh. What time's termite spray? You no clue? Yeah, mucho dirt. You know, I wonder how come the plumbing guys don't come back and fill their ditches in. They're supposed to? Oh. Yeah, lazy bastards. I guess uh, we do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're out here doing all the grade, making everything flat again from all the plumbing trenches. And then we're gonna tie the rebar up and put the plastic down. And I believe we got some wire mesh coming, maybe. The wheel kill, we've got the termite spray going on. So like I said, they just spray the slab. Keep the bugs out. Pretty cool though, huh? Doby doby. What's up, JJ? Hey, we still gotta dig all this dirt out. You know why these footings are supposed to be, Joe? Probably same 14 by 18. Yeah, we got a few inches of dirt to dig out yet. Take this 14 inches. Fourteen inches wide. Yes. Eighteen deep. Yes. We got her all graded out. Everything's looking nice and flat. Getting it recompacted, and now we are going to put down the visqueen. And after that, we'll do the perimeter rebar, interior rebar, and then the matted steel. So let's we'll keep going in that order until we're done. Ugh. Heavy plastic. Plastic. Give it the old shimmy. The shim jiminy. Man, that is a good looking piece of plastic. All right, we got some top hats here. Nine inches. Things are the ones we're gonna want. Well, need probably about 30 of these guys. One, two, three, four.
Uh, I was just picking it up like this because it's kind of light. Did you probably get something in here? Yep. Right there. You like them? Okay, right about there. Yeah, work Beautiful, yeah, cut that freaker off and good. Splice them, splice them. Easy peasy. Let's cut this guy off. All right, it's all good. We'll just throw a splice bar on here, make the right splice and lap. This time, boom, just like that. And little by little it's going in. So we've got the exterior. These bars are 12 inches on center. Like weird little stirrup bands. Like some handlebar style. Gonna have some number fours continuous all the way around everything. So we'll get it all tied up and you'll see what it looks like. The dobies all laid out. The way I'm ready to go with my heights. Yeah, once you get it dobied up, it makes it a lot easier to do everything else. Yep. Adobe Doby. Yep, set the endos. Yep, get these stirrups tied on. And then through the outsides, get them 100 percent make sure all the corners are locked in. Tie all the pier pads. We'll be to the mat in no time. But I like using saddle ties for stuff like this because you know it's only a single tie, but it holds. You watch this. Spin it up, boom. Yeah, that one a little good to go good to go all right you can use the old figure eight come up that side around the front side boom shalam tight boom tight tight y'all all right guys it's time to tie this mat number three bar 16 on center Got some dots laid out, so we'll put them there. When you roll out rebar, you gotta get your leg, get it all set up in your hands. You can drop one at a time, like that, as you go. You can drop them right more and more they go, you know? Instead of just throwing them on the ground like some people do. Paint your marks out. You can put them dot to dot so that way they're in line, you know? I'm going every 16 inches so it's easy to see on those ones. Okay, line up my dots. Like that. Boom. See, then we look up, you can tell it's already straight. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and, uh, yeah, so I'm dobying this under mat up right here so that way. When I start tying the whole everything else, it's just already off the ground. That way you gotta pick nothing up as you tie, you know? Make it easy. Why work hard? We got the capabilities of doing things easy in our life, you know? We have the brain power and the mental capacity. So look, lifting it off the ground, that way it's not, and plus it's lighter right now. It's not heavy. Once I, it is only three bar, but once you put a lot of three bar down, it gets heavy. Got all my dots tied, all my endos. So now, I gotta go hit all the in-betweens and tie it up 100%. Then we'll come back and we'll straighten up all these slab dowels and all that kind of stuff, make it look good. away from the stupid edge okay this portion of the mats all tied up now we're gonna go ahead and tie up all my my exterior bars and just kind of get them lined up you know we're gonna pick them up like this boom make them straight like that 
We'll go ahead and tie both sides of it. So we'll do that, so that way they up from the ground and it picks them up, makes them look nice. Yeah, boom, like that. Might as well use this tie wire gun right here to tie these up. We're only gonna put like one tie on them. Yeah, that makes it quick. This is an hour, they like this tie wire gun. Not the good one, but let's quick work of this. Some little tip whenever you're tying intersections or you're tying like laps it's always a good idea to tie it at an intersection because see, if you just tie it like this i'll do it i'll do it do double if i do it but do it like this you know it can still roll which it won't because it doubles tight but anyways i do it like this that way it just can't all right it's locked up in there locked up in there good there but locked up good but Beautiful day out here, Ty Rebar. Just hanging out outside. Nice weather, sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover. It's beautiful. Beautiful day. Oh, hand ties always better. Tighter. The guns are faster. But I'm pretty good too. Got all the rebar tied here, all the perimeter, all the center, everything. And uh, so now we're just gonna put the grade stakes in with our saddles. I got them spread out. I got them painted out where I want them. And uh, that'll be 100% once these are in. We'll be ready to go. That would've been nice. Uh, six. All right, well, we got this garage portion done. All the perimeter bar, like I said, we just got done with the grade pans. And dode. Well, hey, yeah, everybody. I would say today was a productive day. Man, we tied a lot of rebar today. So today's video, you gotta see how we go about prepping slabs out here on the big island. It's got a few different steps that I'm used to. Uh, like I've never had a uh, spray for termite spray and things like that before before putting down concrete before. So today we showed up, we laid down a little bit of dirt, you know, cause the plumbers, they come in and they, they mess everything up when they're putting their pipes in and they don't do no backfilling. So we come in and we reprep all the dirt, we recompact everything. And then after we got done compacting it, the, uh, the termite guy came in, the wheel kill guy, uh, they came in and they put down the termite spray. And after they put down the termite spray, we put down the vapor barrier, 
followed by the rebar. And then the, after that, we put in all the great steaks and everything like that. And, and after that, you know, you got a pretty much prep slab and ready to pour. So anyways, that's how we do it. Hope you guys learned a little bit today. Hope you guys liked it. Hope, uh, hope, hope it's just a good video all in all. So once again, that's about how we do it out here on the Big Island. I really hope you guys like my videos. And if you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.